This section will provide an example of using the least squares criterion. Let's find the least squares equation relating the variables x equals size of of caribou population in hundreds and y equals size of wolf population in the Denali National Park. Use x as the explanatory variable and y as the response variable. Use the computation formulas to find the slope b of the least squares line and the y-intercept of a. Our solution starts with part one, compute the sample means and fill in the table. So here we've calculated x bar, we've calculated y bar, and then we've filled in the other three columns of the table, including summing up the bottom row or summing up each individual column. For step two, we need to compute the slope b. So here we plug it into the computational format formula. We just plug in tug and we get a result of about 1.6. Our last step is to use the values of b, x, and y to compute the y-intercept a. Again, we're just plugging the values into a formula and we get 22.35. Part B, an example for Part B, use the values of A and B, either computed or obtained from a calculator, to find the equation of the least squares line. Our solution, y hat equals A plus Bx. We plug in the values 22.35 for A, which we calculated on the previous page, and 1.6 for B, and we have our least squares line. Part C is to graph the equation of the least squares line on a scatter diagram. We place the two points, 25.14, 62.57, and 34,76.75 on the scatter diagram using a different symbol than that used for the sample data point and connect the point with a line segment. In the equation y hat equals a plus bx, the slope b tells us how many units y hat changes for each unit change in x. In example 4, regarding size of wolf and caribou populations, our least squares line is y hat equals 22.35 plus 1.60x. The slope 1.60 tells us that if the number of wolves in hundreds changes by 100, then we expect the caribou population to change by 1.6. In other words, our model says that an increase of 100 wolves will increase the predicted caribou population by 160. If the caribou population decreases by 400, we predict the sustainable wolf population to decrease by 6.4. And that's just a matter of plugging in that value of 4 into the x value, the 4 is for the 400, because the, the units is 100, and we get 22.35 plus 6.4. The slope of the least squares line tells us how many units the response variable is expected to change for each unit change in the explanatory variable. The number of units change in the response variable for each unit change in the explanatory variable is called the marginal change of the response variable. Some points in the data set have a strong influence on the equation of the least squares line. A point is influential 
if removing it would substantially change the equation of the least squares line or other calculations associated with linear regression. An influential point often has an x value near the extreme high or low value of the data set. Figure 4-12 shows two scatter diagrams produced in Excel. Figure 4-12a, the graph on the left, has an influential point, and we can see that as an extreme that's above the rest. So the graph on the left has the influential point present, and the graph on the right has the influential point removed. And you can visually see how the line, the slope of the line, is impacted by that change. Prep work number two. Do higher paid chief executive officers control bigger companies? Here, X equals the annual CEO salary in millions, and Y equals the annual company revenue in billions. The following data are based on information from Forbes magazine and represents a sample of top U.S. executives. For problem number two, for the given data, compute each of the following. Part A, the X bar and Y bar, so these are the means for X and the mean for Y. Part B, it's a matter of filling in that column, so there's the five columns and then getting the sum at the bottom of each column. Part C, the slope B and Y intercept A of the least squares line. Write out the equation for the least squares line. So the slope B is a matter of plugging information into the formula. Same thing for the Y intercept A. And then the equation for the least squares line is going to be Y hat equals AX plus B. And then part four, graph the least squares line on your scatter plot from problem one. So this prep work number one, two, three, and four all uses the same data set. Give it a try. Click pause here. Once you've tried it out, go to the next slide for the solution. Here's the solution for prep work number two. Prep work number four has the same data and starting information as prep work number one, two, and three. In number four, if a CEO has an annual salary of 1.5 million, what is his or her annual company revenue as predicted by the least squares line? Give it a try on your own first, and when you're ready to see the solution, go to the next slide. Here's the solution for prep work number four.